you you do such a great job articul and and I've heard some of your debates with pastors and priests. Have you ever considered having these conversations, you know, with like a Sam Harris, with a uh, some of the modern day atheists out there? Because I think they seem to be uh, gaining a lot of attention, podcasts and the like. What's your feeling about that? So I'll tell you something crazy, and I never talked about this with anyone else, and I do a lot of shows. I'm, I'm interviewed on a considerable number of broadcasts with thousands of you doing. Uh, no one ever thought, ask this, and I'll just I'll say it now. I'm interviewed re regularly on atheist shows. In fact, I was on one last mm. night, okay? At least once a week. Now, the, why do atheists bring me on? Because they, they want to show, from a scholarly view, why uh, Jesus can't be the Messiah. And the, whatever mm -hmm. it is, and I take life. So, the, so as it turns out, I'm on an enormous, an inordinate number of atheist shows. A lot. Just a lot, okay? I'm fairly well known out there in the world of... Mm -hmm. They never challenged me on this. Now, I, I, I don't I, – I, I care about these people, and I hope that when I'm on these atheist shows that the many people will watch it and discover the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So my relationship in the, in the atheist, I don't ever ask anyone to have me on. People invite me as a mm -hmm, guest mm -hmm. on their shows. And I, I'm booked way for two weeks. Not that I'm the biggest hit in the world, but they just – I'm a, a little bit unusual. I've been doing this for 40 years. But as it turns out that – in the atheist world, they generally don't ask me, and when they do, they, they, they'll they ask me questions like, as an example, why do the vast majority of scholars believe that Isaiah is written by multiple authors? Why do the vast majority of scholars believe in documentary hypothesis that there are multiple authors to the five books of Moses, Wilhausen's? Mm -hmm. okay. And what they don't understand is that the vast majority of scholars of the Hebrew Bible of what Christians call the Old Testament are devoutly religious people who don't believe in documentary hypothesis and have discovered long ago that the book of Isaiah has a single author and don't believe that Daniel is a pseudepigrapher. So they're, they're, I don't want to offend them, but the what's happening is there's an academic world and in the academic world is kind of an echo chamber. You can't in the academic world, in in biblical studies, just say that Daniel was written. I'm not going to go. Only you want to ask me. I'll talk about it. That Daniel was written during the Babylonian exile. They you'll because that's a a minimalist world. It's the re result, unfortunately, of a a war that Christians fought between each other in the 17th century, the bloodiest religious war in human history. The result was the Enlightenment, and from the 18th and 19th century, there was a building of an enormous wave of anti-religious fervor, not just in the United States but in Europe as well. We are now in that hangover, and therefore, in the ac in the academic circles, doesn't make a difference to your Hebrew university. They just it's sort of kind of like an echo chamber. This is only in the area of the soft of the of biblical studies. This is not you know if you they, they won't care if you talk about this in medical school. But the, so that's a problem. They live in that echo chamber and they're not interacting with people like me. So that's the deal.